गुड मॉर्निंग ऑल ऑफ यू एंड नॉट टुडे यू आर वाचिंग कंप्यूटर चैप्टर थ्री आई थिंक एस एस चैप्टर इज इट एंड लेट स्टार्ट क्वेश्चन आंसर आंसर इन शॉर्ट एंड यू हैव ऑब्जर्व दैट स्टार्टिंग इज सो डिफरेंट इट इज सो मॉडिफाइड सो डोंट फॉरगेट वॉच दिस वीडियो टेल इन एंड नाउ वी विल स्टार्ट आंसर द फॉलोइंग क्वेश्चन इन शॉर्ट Name some of the commonly used database managed system software. So class eight. Answer. Access Apache, Open Office Base, Barrels, Sysbase, MySQL, etc. Now question number second. Name the different section of design view. Fill grid area and fill properties area is a different section of design view. What do you mean by database? Database is an organized collection of related data values. In such a way, they can be used to generate useful information. Now, question number four. What is a primary key? Primary key is a field which has a unique value for each record. And the question number five is that define the terms record, field, and table. So let me define. Different entires of related field values that are stored in form of rows are called record. and information in a table that is stored in the form of columns are called fill and the last is table that the basic component of a db bm dbms are called table in database management system now answer in detail what is dbms database management system describe any two advantages of dbms the advantages means the answer is A computer based application used to create a store and manipulate database is called database management system two advantages of dbms are dbms provide easy retrieval of data dbms enables easy sharing of data and the third point dbms is easy to learn and use now second question is that what is the difference between data set view and design view so the answer The difference between data set view and design view is that in data set view we can add only fields to the table while in design view we can add both field names and data type to the table. Now question number 3 write the step to create table using design view. The steps to create table using design view are as follows. Click on create tab and from the table group click on table design option. Step 2 Click in the field name column and enter field name. Step three: Choose the data type from the data type column box. Now step four: Repeat the ever process to add rest of the table field. Step five is that save the table and give it a suitable name. Now, question number four: How do you set a primary key in a table? The answer is. To set a primary key in a table, follow this step. Step one: Select the field name in the design view. Step two: Click on the primary key option in the tools group on the design tab. Step three: A key indicator gets added to the left of the field name. Step four: Click on save button on the quick access toolbar. And the last second question is that: Write the steps to add a new field in the existing. table using data set view the answer is the steps to add a new field in the existing table using data set view are as follows step 1 right click on the column header where a new column is to be inserted step 2 choose insert field option from the shortcut menu to add a new data field now the last question How do you add a new field in an existing table using design view? And the uh, second five question is the data set view and this design view. We add a new field in an existing table using design view are as follows. Step one: open the table in the design view from home tab. Step two: select the field name, click on insert rows from design tab, and step three: enter the new field name in the field name column. and the last step is that select the field data type for the newly added field and then save the changes so this chapter question answer is completed by education with fun channel so don't forget to like this video and if you are new viewers then like this channel have a nice day everyone have a nice day to you all bye bye everyone